Hi, I'm now going to introduce you to a new product we're adding onto the tvtrade.ie website. It's called the HMT350 and it's made by Zorro. It's basically an internet radio but it also has internet uh, TV with a built-in uh, screen on the front of it here. Um, it has a decent uh, uh, media player built in as well and you know lots and lots of really cool features. Now we've introduced a lot of products onto the TV trailer website over the last number of years but I think very few has had the same wow factor this one has. This is a really really excellent product and uh, by the end of this series of videos hopefully uh, you'll have an idea of why why we're so enthusiastic about it. I'll just go through the basic things that come with this kit. Uh, you have um, two basic manuals here. Uh, it comes in three languages, um, English, French and German. Okay. There's a power unit that goes with it. There is um, a connection here to connect it to a TV, uh, which um, ends in a, a three-pin RCA output. Um, we also have a remote control that's quite neat in design. Uh, and also then there's an antenna to fit on if you want to listen to the FM radio functionality on it as well. Now we've also just displayed quickly on the table here some accessories that will go with this product uh, so, such as a 2 pin to 3 pin adapter, um, treble A or a set of AA batteries here, 4 batteries in total, uh, an SD card uh, or an SDHD card and uh, also an RCA to um, uh, SCART adapter here. If you just look at the back here it's um, RCA and on this point here it's SCART and the reason there is this ca this the, the wire that comes to the box terminates in, in the RCA lead which may suit um, most televisions but not all so possibly buying this because it's very hard to find a television that doesn't have a SCART input on it okay so we'll come back to the box here or, or the unit here itself on the front of it here we'll just look at the most dominant feature is obviously this built-in uh, TV screen here it's about uh, three and a half inches uh, corner to corner um, it's full colour, so it's an excellent unit. Uh, it has excellent now two watt speakers either side. You think the sound of this would be very poor, but it's actually most excellent. If we look at the top of the box, uh, we have a menu button here. We also have a select button and an arrow up and down buttons and over and back. And we have a power on and off button as well. Now, if we turn to the back of this unit, we can see here is where the SD card slots in to be able to give it external memory. It has 512 um, megabytes of, um, of internal memory, but this is to add on um, external cards and use the media player functions, things like this. There's two different ways of connecting um, this to the television here, and this line in is to come for something like an iPod. Also, this here connection is um, to feed the power into the box. And what I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm actually going to just quickly connect this. So what I'm going to do is I get this um, convert this to a tree pin. I get this plug, I put it into the wall, and I run this lead in here. <clears throat> and at this point in time, um, we, we can actually power this on. I'm just going to show you one quick thing here as an alternative to using the power. If you look in the bottom here, why I was showing the four batteries earlier, you can actually disconnect this from the mains and run it off just four AA batteries. Uh, it's obviously more efficient to run it. I'd say the general advice I always give to people on these type of things is if you're not intending to use the batteries, you'll take the batteries out or turn one of the batteries backwards, okay? So if we come along here, to turn on the unit, we simply come along and press the power button. You could have alternatively used the remote control in the power unit here. But you'll see here it powers up. And now we have a really um, quite nice uh, screen display here, okay? So um, now we could transfer this image that's on the screen from here over to the television by a setting on this, I'll demonstrate it later, and using uh, this, this uh, lead here, okay? So um, if we come along now, I just want to display the main features on it. Um, if we go into, on the main menu here, uh, we have network, which is actually just allowing to access the internet. Now this unit, of course, is wirelessly connected into your uh, wireless router. And if you see on my left-hand side here, we have a wireless router here. So there's no wires connected to it and still it can run. In terms of the range that it can work from, we're probably talking in the test we've done, it works quite well up to a range of about 10 meters or so. So if we just go through here, the network will have all the internet access options on it. Um, th this is the playback stored media is that using the, um, SDHC card there to uh, play back um, stored things. The settings, you just want to change this. Uh, my favourites will be things like if you see a particular podcast or a radio show that you quite like, you can add it to your favourites list. Um, FM radio um, is just to use it as a standard uh, traditional radio. Uh, line in, 
uh, is to come along and connect something like an iPod and then we're back to the network settings here, okay? So if we go into the network one, which is the main one, we have internet TV, so we can access internet TV off different sites. Um, you know, there's a, a reasonable amount of content there, but not, not massive at this point. Um, mainly because, we'll say, it's limited to what you can access in some cases. You have internet radio. This is the fantastic features on it. It's almost unlimited what's in it. You can access every, um, you know, national and local radio station in virtually any country in the world because everybody is broadcasting on the internet now and for free and there's no access problems. There's podcasts here, so you can access your best podcast. Once again, the content is the main thing here. BBC in particular have a great um, podcast you can access here. Uh, you, this is for streaming here, uh, so you can stream um, onto this unit uh, from your PC, whatever. This is a feature that we're going to be testing um, and, and demonstrating. Uh, what do you call it? We have a shoutcast here, which is basically like another radio uh, thing where you can just access uh, pre previous shoutcasts that are on the web. Um, and uh, back to internet TV here. Um, so I mean, that's, um, that's all of the main features on it. So there's another whole series of videos that are going to be in this series. Um, and you can just watch through and we'll demonstrate each of the different um, um, parts of that series.